All right. New build. Let's get right into it. All right. So for this build, uh, this is a all red core, full red DPS build. If you're wondering why this build might look familiar, it's because this is um, the perfect last cannon build that a lot of players run um, for just straight full on DPS, all red, going for max crit chance, max crit damage, right? Um, this build is really good for PvE, um, just for like melting bosses, playing from uh, cover, and overall beaming enemies at really quickly. So you might be wondering, uh, this is really odd to run for PvP, especially the fact that it's an all red core build. Right? And it's true. It is very niche. But with the benefits of this build, you are able to quickly beam down enemies from range, even close up. It's all up to you. Right? Alright, let's get started off. Specialization uh, doesn't necessarily matter. What I would recommend running is either uh, Firewall, like what I'm running, Gunner, right? Because you get that 10% armor on kill or uh, sharpshooter so you can get the extra stability and headshot damage right overall specialization th between those three doesn't really matter you can kind of just run whatever because um, as long as you can get your damage bonuses right um, for the three fifteen percent options you're all good and set to go right let's go in for weapons weapons you got a lot of freedom with this build right which is one of its key aspects to why it's so good starting off um, while not everyone will have it, you um, the Eagle Bear is really strong with this build for the fact that um, while the rate of fire isn't necessarily as high, it is super accurate over range. And with its talent and tenacity um, and Eagle Strike, together you get a lot more accuracy, especially as you fire up. Um, and then not only that, uh, with headshot kills... Uh, you you can take a, a huge amount of reduced damage, right? Around 40 to 80 percent. And if you get three kills, most likely it's not going to happen, right? Uh, that's why I'm saying this build is more like it. While it works better in PVE, it's really strong in PVP. If you play your cards right, you play further back. You're taking uh, gunfights from more reasonable distances, right? It allows you to compete with snipers at longer range while keeping up with really good damage. Um, other options you can have for weapons, right? Uh, like other ARs, Carbine 7. Um, it's super accurate. Uh, slightly faster rate of fire. I mean, you do less damage um, than the Eagle Bear, but uh, you can keep up uh, with overall DPS. M4 is also an option. You want a faster rate of fire um, than the Carbine 7. Less damage, right? Um, Shield Splinter. This is the named uh, F2K that you get for uh, killing all the hunters um, in the original Washington DC uh, map, right? And the whole idea with this gun is that you get perfect Optimus, right? Optimus is like one of the best uh, talents where uh, you get increased damage for every 10% of the um, ammo that's missing from the magazine, right? Um, but there's, you do have a lot of options. Typically you're gonna want like a faster firing gun, which is why I'm using the FAMAS. The FAMAS is like kind of almost the best AR in the game. Um, but you certainly do have a lot of options. If you um, if you want, there are other options that you could run. For example, the Dark Winter is really strong. I believe, if I'm correct, don't take my word on this, it was added into the uh, regular loot pool, so you don't have to go uh, farm named item caches, conflict, or the Dark Zone for this. Um, and with that talent, Perfect Killer, killing an enemy with a critical hit, uh, with an SMG, obviously, so you're already going to have that really super high crit chance. So even with just this build on top of it, you're going to definitely cap out at 60. Um, you get 50% uh, critical hit damage for 10 seconds, right? So uh, like, let's say, like, let's assume someone does get super close to you. If you really need to, you can use the Dark Winter or the Apartment, um, which, gives you, which is perfectly measured, and you get an even faster rate of fire. Um, where the weapon damage decrease isn't going to really matter that much because it's an all-red build. You're going to be killing people super fast anyways. Um, other than that, that kind of goes for your uh, first primary slot. Second primary, like I said, I'm running the FAMAS. I'm running Strain personally on it. Um, Optimus is also a really good option. Sadly, you cannot. it does not have a long underbarrel rail, so you cannot put Flatline on this. Uh, or is it, you can have Flatline, but you can't have the linked laser pointer from the Technician class, which would really help, but you can't really necessarily do that. 
Um, other than that, like I said, you're gonna want you typically you want to run an AR. Um, you can run double AR that works, or you can run an AR and then an SMG, something just for close range to keep make sure you don't get overtaken. Right. Then next up, your your uh, third uh, slot. Really, uh, it doesn't like necessarily matter. I say orbit because you can use it on a down enemy because you're gonna, you beat people pretty quick. It'll just take one uh, one shot really to go get that kill confirm. Or like I said, if you don't run the eagle bear um, or some other uh, exotic, you could run the busy little bee. I know it did get nerfed um, for P for its PVP stacks, but if you really did want to to get some bonus damage, you could. Uh, let's start off with the first gear slot. We're gonna have the ma uh, gear mask. Um, you do have a couple options uh, with this build. So I chose to go for a, uh, a Grupo mask, right? But if you want, you can all, you can go for a Cheska mask. Um, what's it called? You could run uh, like Prov Providence, right? Because you're going to have three peeps Providence with this build. Or you can run Coyotes. Those, uh, those are like generally your options here. Um, with Grupo, you get the 15% uh, critical hit damage, which is really nice with this build. Um, and you're going to want to have crit chance, crit damage, and crit damage. Um, with, with Coyote's Mask, assuming you are going to use this, you don't want to farm for a, god, a, a double crit Grupo. Um, with Coyote's Mask, right, it's the crit chance, crit damage, and then crit damage mod. Um, from 0 to 15 meters, you get 25% critical hit damage. Right, you're not, The whole idea with this build is you're trying not to play super up close, but if you do, you get more critical hit damage. Um... From 15 to 25 meters, you get 10% crit hit uh, damage and 10% crit hit chance, which is kind of nice. It's a good it's a good middle ground. You'll typically be around here, so you kind of benefit from both fields. And from 25 meters plus, you get 25% crit hit chance, which is really good for ARs. Um, not not as much for SMGs because uh, you're obviously you're not going to be using an SMG from 25 meters. But if you are, do have an SMG and you're playing up close, 25 uh, crit hit damage, it does sound pretty nice. And then for your third mask option, um, with the Cheska mask, uh, running Cheska gives you 10% crit chance, right? Uh, so you have a higher chance for critical hits. Um, you can run uh, crit, uh, double crit, right? Crit chance, crit damage, and then crit hit damage again. Um, or another option, I, I completely um, forgot about this. If you if you aren't really needing uh, crit hit damage or crit hit chance on this build. You feel like you can go without it. If you want, you can run a uh, Walker Harris to get an extra 5% weapon damage. Uh, what's it called? Mine isn't exactly... This is meant for a different build. I think I have a better one in my stash, but it's all red, right? Double crit, uh, crit chance, crit hit damage, crit hit damage. Uh, other than that, those are your kind of mass options. You, you have a lot of flexibility to move around with that. Uh, what's it called? For Sacrifice, uh, this is the named uh, Providence Defense chess piece. Um... I do have three piece providence on this build where you have 15% headshot damage, 10% crit hit damage, I'm sorry, crit hit chance, and then 15% crit hit damage. All right, the whole idea with this um, with this piece is it's talent, perfect glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%, right? So that's essentially two extra red cores, but all damage you take is amplified by 60%, right? The name really fits the talent. You, you In PvP, you will go down almost uh, instantly. It might seem like your enemies are cheating with how fast they kill you. Right, but once again, this build you don't have a lot of armor, so the whole reason you're using it is to play further back, which is why you don't want, you don't like always want to have an SMG. Maybe just in case someone does pull up on you last second, you're not ready for it. You can, you can at least stand a fighting chance, but the whole idea is you want to play further back. Um, and along that, you're gonna run double crit, right? Crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and then crit hit damage again for the mod. All right, holster. This is our second piece of Providence Defense, giving us that 10% crit hit chance. Once again, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be um, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. Nothing super crazy, nothing super out there. Um, if you really feel like you don't need that uh, crit hit damage, if you wanted to, you could run Picaro's Holster, right, where you can take advantage of a blue core and a red core. I personally don't think it's worth it, but because you're already going to be taking so much damage immediately. Um, but it really, then again, it is your choice. All right, for the backpack, this is the named... Uh, Providence Defense Backpack, The Gift. This is, as far as I'm concerned, a PvP and Dark Zone exclusive, but you can open named item caches to get it. Um, if you really want to, I say you could run the uh, regular Providence Backpack, um, but the whole reason you're running this backpack is for that perfect vigilance, 
which increases total weapon damage by 25%. Uh, and when you take any bit of damage, which is kind of almost essentially like instantly, if you take any damage, you're probably going to die anyways. Um, but it disables this buff for three seconds, which isn't really going to matter much because the regular vigil Vigilance, if you didn't know, um, is the same uh, amplification, but with a four second uh, cooldown. So, I mean, like, it's not really a difference whether you run the gift or not. But regardless, um, it'll be 10 crit hit damage, or, uh, it'll be a crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and then a crit hit damage mod. Right, and all these are red cores, by the way. And then these are on to the uh, best in slots, just for PvE and PvP. These are really strong. Uh, we're going with the name um, Petra Defense uh, Gloves, Contractor's Gloves, right? You're not going to be getting much out of that uh, LMG damage. You could run an LMG if you wanted to. Um, if you were to run an LMG in this case, I could recommend, I don't think I have any on me because they're all my stash. Um, I, I, I could recommend running the Bullet King, right? Good suppressive fire. You're already dealing a lot of damage and you already have a high crit chance. You get extra 10 crit damage and you get damage to hearts out of cover. Um, or you could run like the Black Friday, right? Um, you could have the damage to targets out of cover. And then for the attribute, you could run a damage to armor. But, um... With this, you're gonna have create. Um, you're gonna have that eight percent damage to armor, which is why this is best in slot. It's another multiplicative that helps you out DPS your enemies by a long shot. And then, if you want, you can run crit hit damage or crit hit chance. Doesn't really matter. All right. And then for your other best in slot, uh, Overlord Armaments uh, named uh, knee pads, uh, the Fox's Prayer. Uh, this is the same multiplicative, but this time for damage to targets at a cover. You're going to want to run crit hit chance or crit hit damage as your secondary attribute. Um, and once again, you're going to want to keep that red core. Um, overall, a lot of multiplicative damage, right? Uh, it's overall super strong and it's really nice to have. Um, you are somewhat limited um, for like the skills you can use. You're kind of like want to use skills that will take away attention for yourself. Uh, you, could run, uh, you can run decoy. Decoy is very strong. After all, you want to uh, make sure that no one's like looking at you. Uh, you can run a turret to get, go make enemies look at like something else. A uh, riot foam uh, for the chem launcher certainly works pretty well. Obviously, you're not going to be wanting, not running shields, and then you could run the default of having the defender drone. Um, obviously, you don't, you don't want to run Reviver Hive in PvP, um, but you can run the defender drone so you get some extra damage reduction. Right, you're, if you're already taking the 60% um, like amplified damage against yourself. It can become 50 now um, with the Defender Drone. And then I recommend running a Scanner Pulse because you want to know where enemies are at, at all times to make sure you don't get caught lacking. Um, other than that, let's go over the stats. All right, without the Cheska Mask, right? Remember, I'm, I'm running Grupo. I have a 52% uh, percent chance um, for crit hit chance. I have 195 almost crit hit damage, which is a lot. And that's just for the Eagle Barrier. If we go over to the Mike Moss. Right, it's certainly a lot more balanced out. 57% crit chance uh, and 180% crit hit damage. Right, most likely you're using the FAMAS. The Eagle Bear is kind of just like it's kind of just nice if you get it because then if you can proc tenacity, you don't take as much damage as you normally would. But overall, um, it's not necessarily gonna matter. Other than that, let's go straight for some conflict. I'm gonna go showcase the build, showcase how uh, kind of how you should play with this build. The, uh, this build is for me uh, new players, in the sense that like, maybe you're coming from like other FPS games. Like let's say you play like a lot of COD, Destiny, um, maybe some Battlefield, right? Like a lot of other like FPS games, right? Where you're kind of more used to a faster TTK, um, and you have like better like better reaction times, right? And maybe you're not like super in depth like uh, getting a, like a lot of the pieces, right? Because all these pieces are super 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 easy to farm, right? Um, targeted loot for your mass, right? Um, targeted loot, you can do that again, um, since you can get the sacrifice. Uh, it's not a PvP or DZ exclusive, super easy to get. Right, you can just farm Providence. It's super easy, since you're getting three, three, three of your six pieces for your armor are Providence for this build. Um, contractors, you can just farm targeted loot for Petrov. You get a named item, you know what you got. Same thing for Overlord Armaments. If you want, you can run, uh, let me see if I have it here. Classic M1A. Uh, Boomerang does work really well with this uh, for the fact that you have a higher critical hit chance. So if you do want to play further out of cover, you can run Vamos 
and um, and M1A. Or, like I said, since you do get the 10% bonus um, for LMGs, you can run Bullet King and M1A. It's all really your choice. Uh, if you really did want to make use, like full use, out of the uh, what's it called, out of the bonuses, like uh, well, it, would, it certainly wouldn't be meta. M1A is certainly decent. You hit your shots, right? And then with Boomerang, you get that extra 40% weapon damage. Super nice. You're kind of just taking advantage of a lot of opportunities there to make use of, full use of these bonuses. Um, if you really want to. You could take off the Providence, right? If you don't care about that 50% crit hit damage. And you can replace it with a Fenris that has Sacrifice. I don't know if I have a Fenris that has Sacrifice. Uh, no, I don't think I do. But like, overall, you get the idea. It's just, there's a lot of options you have with this build. And I think you can make a lot of uses of it. It's, it's really fun. It's mainly used for PvE, right? Um... Sometimes people use it even in the raids. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of just uh, a, a for fun build. It, if you have like fast reaction times, right, and you don't like having to deal with all that armor, this is certainly your place to go with this build. Um, you do have to play like a little far back, but overall, it's fun. It's really fun watching uh, enemies go down just like that. And we're going to see how this match goes. Hopefully, everyone keeps on skirmish. No one's voting for any of that domination or team elimination. I mean, team, I mean, team elimination, I can get uh, a lot more clips, but it's, it's all good. We got skirmish, so... All right, let's get this done. And oh, well, like once again, this build isn't super action packed. It's not super competitive. It is, I, it's kind of funny to say this considering how good of a build it is for uh, PVE. It is very off meta. All red builds are super off meta. Um, you hardly ever see anyone running it. Uh, we are down a teammate, even though we had the full eight in the lobby. Um, what's it called? I mean, I've seen people run like all our striker builds. That that's certainly interesting to see in PVE, but sorry, in PVP. But like once again, it's all really your choice. It's all about having some fun. And if you don't, if you find yourself having a hard time killing enemies, especially with expertise, that's one of, one of the big key aspects of this build. Um, you can melt people who have max expertise super, super, super quick, especially from far away with that damage drop off. Which is just really nice. So, as you saw, my expertise was like a 3 or 5, you know what I mean? Um, on some of these pieces. So I'm certainly just missing out on uh, all that. Because I don't, I don't play the game as much. Or I, I don't spend like all my time playing the game, grinding it out, as some people do. With their 22 expertise. So, if you're kind of just looking for a quick build, right? It's super easy to farm. There's only one exclusive. And you and if you want, you can just run the regular Vigil Vigilance backpack uh, for Providence. Before you run out of reinforcements. But you'll, you'll see how fast um, you're able to beat people in gunfights. Oh, we are down two teammates. That's interesting. Probably not going to use this for the video, but... Yep, two bullets. Already lost half his armor. Let's see if he peeks again. Double pulse. Wow. Wow, I was low, but okay. Agent incapacitated. Oh no, there, there are two other teammates. Rogue are they gonna push me? I detected. My teammate's getting his detected. ass beat over there. An agent needs assistance. Wonder if someone can get me. Are they AFK? They are AFK. Oh no, one of them's here. Can he get to me is the question. I don't want to waste the life. 
Yeah, it took too long, guys. I don't know what that was. Let's see what we got here. Ninja Bike, Double Y'all, Cheska. Oh, jeez. That's disgusting. Don't know why it took them so long to come back and resonate, but, you know, that's what it is. Agent down. He's getting grounded and pounded. You see that damage right there? That guy got downed immediately. With a defender drone, already lost half his armor. Alright, they res the guy down. Yeah, you see what I mean? You die instantly. So you gotta have a quick trigger finger. Which is kinda like where you're making all that use out of that uh, reaction time that you got. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. I just got a whole team wipe. Whole team wipe with that. Everyone died. I killed every single player. I'm telling you, dude. Don't sleep on this build. Up. Oh, they are back. Okay. The enemy is acquiring the boost. The boost has been taken. No crit. 150k damage, dude. Unreal. An agent needs assistance. Get my teammates dead. Yeah, look at that accuracy. If you got good tracking, you're gonna go light them up, dude. With, with those shots, dude. That is not what you want to see. Defender drone detected. Hostile defender drone detected. Woo! Agent down. Guys hit me hard. Oh, I downed him. Suppressive fire. Alright, gotta keep that distance. He's lacking armor. He's plating up. There's no way. That guy's Down another one, right there. It's a little cowardly. Look at that. You melt those skills. Besides the fact that I'm whiffing all these shots, but. See what I'm saying, dude? It's, it's nuts. It's absolutely insane. Oh, oh, stay away from that. My teammate's going right into that line. I'm sending you dude, he does not care. This is a bad idea, but let's see how we can perform close range. See no one. Oh, no, 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 there we go. RPG, oh, sh or, no, 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 you know, that wasn't an RPG, that was, a uh, probably the launcher. F do not want to beat that. Let's scan our full slam. Can you pull up a nice little cheeky flank? Does he know I'm here? Oh, they know I'm here. I probably just made a huge mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah one more. Yeah, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea by me. See, that, that's why you don't play up close. I had my drone up and he saw me, but... That damage, though, and that split second got him down to all the way to half. And now we have control of specialization ammo, so... That's good. It's always good to see. Obviously, I'm not going to be making all that much use of, out of it. Which is maybe why you would run a... What's it called? Like, maybe why you would run a... Uh, Sharpshooter. But definitely, you're not going to be getting much use out of Gunner or... Uh, firewall. With specialization ammo for this build. 
Oh, my teammate's getting beat up. Agent down. Don't got my scanner pulse yet. Oh. Down two of them. See what I mean, man? Don't doubt this build. Right, he's res. He's resin his buddy. It's fine. It's fine. I just lost. A, I just lost it down, but it's all right. Okay, one of them is running to the left. Another one running back. Definitely don't want a wide peek. I didn't down him. Oh, when did you get up here? Alright, that's another guy melted, roasted and toasted. Oh, he's got spawn armor. Uh, he's got spawn protection. Oh, I peeked that again, why don't you? Well, that's another thing that's gonna really be a pain with this build. Going against Stinger Hives, not fun. And with damage amp, oh lord. Look at that. Almost 300k per bullet with the FAMAS. I'm telling you, dude, people are gonna go down immediately. It's too much damage. Way too much. I don't play PvP all that often, but I know some people are looking for builds, right? Um, this is what a, a PvE build I had for so long. I took it into a couple PvP matches, had a lot of fun with it. So I uh, hope y'all can have the same, because we already got a leader. We got people rage quitting. Match is over. Would not be surprised if I got match MVP for that game. A lot of damage there. Had a couple bad plays, right? A couple things fortunate. Um, things happen, but, you know, look at that, 1750. If you're typically bought with this award, right, you can carry games with this. I'm telling you, dude, don't underestimate this build. Don't say it's just a PvE build. This build, crazy. Almost 30, 34 million damage. 34 million, dude. Went 8-3. and three. It's a pretty safe, it's pretty safe to say. Kill people super fast. One of those builds I even one of those kills I even gave up. Probably could have gotten two if I rushed the guy who was resing. So it's all about opportunity. I didn't take the risk, and I'm glad I didn't, because there was another guy there um, in their spawn on the left side who I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, I'm sure I, uh, I was able to kill him later, but I'm telling you, dude, don't doubt this build. It's, it's really powerful. You get if you're given the chance. So other than that, um, that's it for the video. You saw how well that build like performed. Just make sure you don't you don't play a little aggro like I was earlier. Um, and you're gonna have a lot of fun. You kill people super easily. Expertise does not matter at all. And other than that, uh, I hope you have a great day. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.